and five is the next block in this row and it's very straightforward. We've got all squares and rectangles. So we're gonna assemble this four patch, attach it to this rectangle and attach it to this one to make the square and then repeat the process for these and then just put them together. So this is a very straightforward block. I've got my pieces all laid out beside me. So it's basting is the same thing. I'm gonna make sure that I baste um, opposite. So if I, do, if I do this side and this side first and then do these, I'm gonna make sure that I do this side and this side first and then do these. You wanna make sure, because the second, the second basted section is gonna be thicker. So you wanna kinda even that out by putting a thicker section on a thinner section. It will help reduce the mass that gets between these papers already naturally, and so that it will give you a tighter fit and a better seam at the end of the day. So I'm gonna start by basting my four patch section and get that assembled. So I've got my pieces basted. They're basted opposite each other. So this one has the first fold here, second fold here. This one has the first fold here and the second fold here, which gives me a thicker seam and a thinner seam that touch each other. These are, these are put together. These have not yet been put together. So I will put these together and then I'll be able to attach them to the other two. So I've got this one assembled and I'm gonna put these together now. So I've made my four square unit and when I flip it over, whoops, when I flip it over here, I notice that my fabric is wrong sided up or it looks like it's wrong side up. So I'm gonna put it, it either goes like this or it goes like this. I'm gonna flip it 180 degrees because whatever I do here, I gotta do here and I think they're upside down, but uh, I'm gonna leave them like this and then I'm gonna attach this other rectangle to here, even though my f background fabric is going in a different direction, which I don't think I can avoid that. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off and fix the direction of the background before I attach it to this. So I've connected my rectangle to my four patch. I've also fixed my directional background that I didn't realize I had when I went to assemble it. So when I'm gonna go do these, I'm gonna make sure that when I attach them, they're gonna be in the same direction. I think that, yeah, I think that I made these so that they were in the right direction. So apparently at one point I knew to place them in the right direction. But anyway, I'm gonna um, attach this one well, let's see, this one goes here, so that means it's gonna end up on this side, right there. So I'm gonna attach that, and then we can move on. So I've got my whole unit together, and I've got this unit basted, and I'm going to attach it here. So I've attached my large square to my unit I've made, and I'm going to set this aside now and work on the other row in the same fashion. So I'll base my four patch, but this time I'm gonna make sure that I have my background pieces in the right direction. And it's going to be across this way because this one also has the same thing here. So as long as these are all lined up properly, I can get started. So I've assembled my other four patch unit and I have basted my other square. So I'm gonna connect the two of them. So I've connected my two blocks and now I'm going to connect them to the other row. So I've attached my rows together and now my M5 block is complete. And the only thing left to do is to add my sashings and cornerstones along this edge. 